Most supplements are useless and can't prevent diseases. The best way to get nutrients is from vegetables and sunshine and not pills. In this video you will learn why supplements are not the best source of nutrients. You will also discover some common side effects of taking them. And finally, you will learn more about the corrupt supplement industry and how to get nutrients naturally. Millions of people in the United States consume dietary supplements. People are looking for a magic bullet to offset all their destructive health habits. One way they do that is by consuming supplements or health products. These mixtures either come from pills, nutrition bars, health drinks and cereals. Vitamins are organic compounds that the human body can't create. Therefore we need to get them from our diet. Fruits and vegetables are the primary sources of most vitamins. Vitamin D comes from the sun's actions on our skin and B12 from bacteria. Plants are also the most direct source of minerals. Minerals originate in the ground and enter through the roots of plants and then into animals. Deficiencies often occur in the elderly alcoholics and those with chronic illnesses or western populations that don't consume enough fruits and vegetables. A century ago deficiencies were a problem. Today these diseases are almost unknown because of better nutrition. People today instead eat excess cholesterol, fat, sodium and protein. We also overuse supplements. Vitamins and minerals come from natural packages called fruits and vegetables. These nutrient-rich foods have been under development for hundreds of millions of years. Their interactions with living animals are proven correct over eons of successful living. Vitamin manufacturers can't outsmart nature's design. Lab technicians isolate and concentrate nutrients and package them in capsules. They then sell them to us with claims that they are necessary for good health. Manufacturing creates severe problems because nutrients do not work in isolation. They need the interaction of thousands of other substances. In concentrated, isolated forms, these vitamins and mineral supplements cause nutritional imbalances. The classic example is beta-carotene supplements for cancer. A study gave elderly persons 200 mg of vitamin E supplements. They experienced frequent upper respiratory infections. Those taking vitamins had longer total illness duration and more symptoms. You can find beta carotene in yellow and orange fruits and vegetables. Inside our cells are receptors for carotenoids. Supplements flood their cell with beta carotene. The receptor sites then get overwhelmed by the competition. Supplements can result in diseases if taken in excess. For example, vitamin A supplements increase the risk of hip fractures and birth defects. Iron supplementation can cause a fatal liver disease called hemochromatosis. Magnesium supplementation increases the risk of heart attacks and sudden death. Vitamin D supplements are quite powerless. They should only be taken in extreme cases. Some examples include those confined to a nursing home or stuck in the Arctic. Vitamin D is a hormone synthesized with the help of sunlight. It's not intended for oral intake or injections. Treating abnormal blood tests with vitamin D supplements may cause more fractures. It's best to expose yourself to as much sun as tolerated. Vitamin D taken orally, either from whole foods or pills, don't provide as much benefit as the sun. Sunlight causes your body to make not just vitamin D, but also phytoisomers. Vital isomers offer additional health benefits. They are not present in supplements. Vitamin D from the sun is fat soluble. You can therefore store it in the body's fatty tissues longer than supplements. Neither vitamin D rich foods nor supplements will create feel good substances. Only the sun or tanning beds can create endorphins. And only the sun can regulate your circadian rhythm and sleep wake cycle. You have probably heard that you need omega-3 from fish oil. We now consume over 100,000 tons of fish oil every year. A meta-analysis published in the JAMA looked at the effects of omega-3. They studied the lifespan, cardiac death, sudden death and stroke in people. There was no protective benefit by taking fish oil. Fish oil contains dangerous saturated fat and contaminants. A better source of omega-3 is flax seeds. 
you can get your daily intake of omega-3 from one tablespoon of ground flax seeds. Vitamin B12 is part of the metabolism of all cells in the body. You can see the first effects of B12 deficiencies in the blood and then the nervous system. Anemia or low red blood count is one result of B12 deficiency. You can often cure it by taking small amounts of B12. Although you can find vitamin B12 in animal foods, plants or animals don't synthesize it. Only bacteria make active vitamin B12. Cows, steers and other free-living grazing animals have vitamin B12 in their muscles. They get it from soil particles that cling to plant roots. The human gut also contains B12 synthesizing bacteria, but the B12 is absorbed in the ileum. Therefore B12 is not immediately available for absorption. In earlier times humans acquired vitamin B12 in the same way as grazing animals. They ate plants without washing them in chlorinated drinking water. Humans harvested plants and drank from streams, rivers and wells. As a result, enough B12 flowed through human bodies. But our traditional sources of B12 are almost gone. Root vegetables are now scrubbed and washed with chlorinated water. Few of us drink water from streams or wells. Wastewater treatment plants also kill B12 producing bacteria. Therefore modern day vegans must rely on vitamin B12 supplements to meet their needs. Our lack of B12 is an effect of modern sanitation. It's not proof that humans need to eat animal flesh. You could choose to eat lots of B12 rich animal foods and avoid anemia. But this decision puts you at risk of dying from heart attack, diabetes or cancer. The human body is efficient in absorbing and conserving this vitamin. By design we only need tiny amounts of it. Most people have at least a 3 year reserve of this vital nutrient. The long term consequences of B12 supplementations are unknown. So far the vitamin appears to be non-toxic and beneficial. Recently scientists discovered a plant based source of vitamin B12 in water lentils or duckweed. So you may get B12 from a whole food source instead of a supplement. Vitamins and supplements are a multi-billion dollar industry. The industry doesn't want to give up its income. The validity of research on dietary supplements is questionable. Therefore we cannot know the composition and quality of ingredients. Researchers use DNA fingerprinting techniques to test 44 herbal supplements. Less than half of the supplements were authentic or contained what they said they did. Most supplements contained plants not listed on the label and product substitutions. Many had contaminants or fillers not listed on the label. Only two of the 12 companies appeared to be completely authentic. The remaining 10 companies' products contained fillers, product substitutions or contaminants. Dietary supplements may be mixed with dangerous compounds, be contaminated, fail to contain the active ingredient or contain unknown doses of the ingredients stated on the label, be sold at toxic dosages or produce harmful effects. By law, supplements can contain up to 50% more or 20% less vitamin or 45% more and 20% less mineral than listed on the label. The FDA oversees medications, but vitamins don't get regular testing by any government agency. So there's no way of knowing outside of independent testing if supplements work. One study estimated that at least 1 in 12 adults takes dietary supplements known to cause kidney damage. Other dietary supplements are known carcinogens. About a third of all calls to poison control centers are due to dietary supplements. They may cause coma, seizures, heart attacks, liver failures and death. Despite extensive research on dietary supplements, there is little regulation. Supplements don't need to prove they are effective in treating the symptom. New supplement ingredients need only limited safety data. Dietary supplements may not claim to treat, prevent, diagnose or cure diseases. However, they can contain general health or nutrition content claims. But there is no established criteria needed to support a claim. Supplement companies often tell us that we must take them because of depleted soils. Minerals are from soils and vitamins are something plants create. If a plant is going to bear fruits, seeds, flowers or fruits, it needs to produce all necessary vitamins. Mineral deficiency is theoretically possible. 
but it's highly unlikely to affect anyone living in our modern society. The classic example of a mineral deficiency is iodine. It caused goiters in underdeveloped parts of the world, such as Africa. There are also some rare cases of selenium and zinc deficiencies in poorer countries. These deficiencies occur because of the limited supply of foods for these people. They eat only foods grown in their local region. The soil in their neighborhood may be deficient in one of these minerals, but the risk of suffering from vitamin or mineral deficiencies is small. This is because you eat foods grown from a wide variety of soils. In the unlikely chance that one food was low in a mineral, another one can contain an abundant supply. Vegetables are not deficient in vitamins and minerals. The US Department of Agriculture has a huge database of the nutritional content of products. If our vegetables lack nutrients, we will see more negative conditions in people. If you look at the USDA database, you can clearly see that vegetables contain nutrients. The website chronometer.com uses data from multiple sources. If you go on the website, you can see that fresh vegetables contain nutrients. Supplement companies are the ones that repeat that our soils are depleted. They say that to sell more products. But nutritional databases prove that this argument is false. Often nutritional deficiencies are because of our lifestyle, not depleted soils. Obesity causes more vitamin D deficiency. Because vitamin D is fat soluble, excess body fat will pull vitamin D out of circulation. The body responds with repair processes that include inflammation. One of the responses to this inflammation is the lowering of vitamin D in the blood. Almost all cases of vitamin B12 deficiencies are due to diseases of the intestine. Damage to the ileum prevents the reabsorption of B12. Many people have low magnesium levels. When we are under stress, the body uses magnesium. So even if your food has adequate magnesium, you can still become deficient if you worry a lot. If you drink dairy, you can still deplete your calcium reserve. Milk is acidic. A way for the body to reverse this effect is by using calcium from the bones. That is why dairy can lower your calcium levels. But if you get calcium from plants, this effect is not happening. Many health experts use supplements to earn a steady income outside their book sales. Dr. Yuval Furman is a board certified family physician. He is the best seller of books such as Eat to Live and The End of Diabetes. Furman calls his way of eating a nutritarian diet. He tells his readers to eat nutrient-dense foods like greens and vegetables. But at the same time, he says that vegans need DHA supplements. Furman scares his followers to believe that you can't get enough DHA on a vegan diet. Though there's no real evidence that vegans need DHA supplements to be healthy. He's only using the situation to make more money. Dr. Yuval Furman designed and carried out a DHA study for a supplement he sells. His website removed Furman as the principal investigator in the study before he published it. Furman sells his DHA supplement for $56.98. If he can make 70,551 followers buy his supplement, he can earn $1 million in sales. And if they are repeat buyers, he can earn millions of dollars on a useless supplement each year. Jeff Nelson on Vexors made several videos about Dr. Furman's scandal. I will create a card so you can watch his videos. If you want to get enough nutrition if you have cancer, you will be better off by not taking supplements. B12 is an exception. Supplements may also be useful if you do specific cleanses such as the niacin sauna detox. We need clean air, water and food, adequate rest, moderate exercise and sunshine. These are cost free and side effect free, but also profit free so that's why few people recommend them. The best source of nutrients comes from whole foods such as greens and vegetables and the sun. Another great way to load your body with nutrients is to grow vegetables. If you use the square foot gardening technique, you can even grow vegetables on concrete. Get nutrients the way God or Mother Nature made it, not what humans created. If you're buying supplements, there's a big chance that you're wasting your money. If you want to learn how to get enough nutrients, then read our cancer diet and nutrition guide. Learn where to get minerals and vitamins from plants and not supplements. The link to this guide is in the description box below. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. 
Also visit our page cancerwisdom.net to learn other ways to treat cancer with natural remedies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.